Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome Libras. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so that you can help us show us love and support our channel. For those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while, welcome back my lovelies. Go ahead and take a chair. Sit back and relax. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of June 2021. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more. Okay, let's get into your reading, Libra. You're starting off with the Prince of Wands. Ooh, Prince of Swords. Wow, okay. So off the bat, you guys, <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Okay, so I'm feeling a lot of momentum that is going to be coming towards you for this month of June. A lot of communication for a lot of you guys. This is break you breaking out of your shell. This is you being more decisive. This is you going towards where your heart is being pulled. So in the past readings, there's been a lot of hesitation with Libras the past couple of months. And what they're saying here is you've made a decision, okay? Now, you may be dealing with fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. For others of you, you may be dealing with another air sign like yourself, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And I also see earth energy here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. What I see here is there was, there could have been a, situation where you didn't have a lot of clarity you didn't really know i should i'm hearing indecisiveness so you've been struggling with something where you've been very much in your head and i feel that for this month you're definitely gonna make up your mind about a situation and you're going to rush towards that decision it's like like making a decision and owning that decision so there's a lot of empowerment that's coming through here now your next card here is the king of cups the Nine of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Beautiful energy, you guys. So King of Cups could rec uh, represent water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but I read more energies. So what they're telling me here is that in the past, you could have been very emotionally unavailable or you pulled your energy back because you felt like there was a need to sacrifice something. So this could have been a situation where you didn't have clarity or didn't really know exactly what was going on behind the scenes. So you pulled your energy back and there was a lot of indecisiveness. There's a lot of like, I see you guys pacing back and forth. So I feel that whatever decision you're going to be making in the month of June, it's taken a very long time for you to actually decide and you're like there's power behind this because you are not only decisive, but you're assertive in the decision you're making. And the king of cups could represent your energy, whereas the past with the nine of wands, you could have been guarded about something. You could have decided to not put effort or pull your energy back. You felt perhaps for some of you guys, there could have been some type of fear of rejection, or there could have been some type of fear of not being embraced when we're talking about emotions. So for some of you guys, it, it was the fear of not being reciprocated when we're talking about romance and connections or love. Um, now, I don't see any cup cards here other than the King of Cups, but I feel that the majority of you guys are gonna be dealing with romance and relationships for this month. And I see you making a decision. I see you making a decision and rushing towards a person that you could have either held back, like I said, pulled away, or you decided to cut your losses. Um, and, and they're telling me something about sacrificing yourself. So it could have been a situation where perhaps for some of you guys, the person that you were interested in perhaps wasn't fully being embraced. Like there could have been someone in your family that wasn't okay with you being with this person or dealing with this person it could have been people around you that didn't necessarily like they weren't completely honest um or gossip could have been something that 
was really influencing you. And I don't mean gossip from you. I mean gossip from other people um, in regards to this connection. But I feel that for the month of June, you're making a decision and you're rushing towards that decision. You're owning that decision. Now, with the Seven of Pentacles, it is about looking to the past. But I also feel that the Seven of Pentacles is that of rewards. It's that of being able, like, once you once you make a decision and you own it, there's assertiveness to that. So there's power behind that because you're no longer indecisive. You're no longer allowing other people to, to guide you or to influence you in regards to the decisions you make in your life. And this could be in general. This could be that a situation where in the past, you, you, you put a lot of weight into what people have to say, into what, you know, and when I say people, I mean people around you, the people that you consider important in your life. This could have been, you know, you put a lot of weight and value into the, you know, what your family, what your friends, you know, think of you and the decisions you make. Um, but I see you clearly for this month, like really <clears throat> standing in your power, not giving a shit about what people have to say. This is you rushing towards listening to your heart and making decisions that are going to benefit you. And the moment you start to do that, you're going to see this shifting of energy, Libra. You're going to feel more empowered. You're going to see things unfold in a way where you're going to get to a point of feeling like, why did I waste so much time? Why did I hold back so long? Like, there is, you know, seven of pentacles is rewards. It's being able to see all the effort and energy you've been investing or putting towards some type of manifestation. And you're going to be able to see that the moment you're able to fully embrace and listen to your heart is what they're telling you. So again, for some of you guys, it could be love. For others of you, it could just be um, in regards to your career, in regards to your finances, this is owning your power. This is being decisive. This is even being aggressive, something that Libras don't have a tendency of doing, you know, unless provoked. <laughs> but what they're telling you here is you're going after what you want and nothing is holding you back. You're listening to not only your intuition, but you're listening to your heart. There is something that's pulling the strings of your heart. And you know that you've had to make this decision or take action. But in the past, you were vibrating from fear. You were vibrating from doubt. Whereas moving forward in this month, you're, you're willing to risk it is what they're saying. And the rewards are going to be great. Why? Because you're going to be able to fully see the potential in happiness that you're able to experience through being decisive so very beautiful energy i am very happy to see that libra let's see what the oracle card has to tell you in regards to the situation for libra sun moon rising venus thank you spirit we have a card flying out and we have three this is exactly what i just said you guys this is a representation of dreams of longings, of desires that you've been holding back for so long. This is you, you know, deciding and owning your life. You're like, fuck this. I'm no longer going to live in fear. I'm going to follow my passions. I'm going to follow my heart. And I'm not holding back. This is all about setting off towards a journey that is going to be emotionally fulfilling for you. It's putting fears aside, putting doubt aside. This is kind of like when you are willing to gamble it all. Except with the seven of pentacles, there's no gamble because you're coming out on top, you're winning, you're being blessed. This is about freedom and courage in following your heart's desires. So congratulations, Libra. There's a lot of transformation that's happening and that you will be experiencing this month. I wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope it gives you some type of insight. And uh, move forward, Libra. Own your power.
talk to you guys soon. Bye.